soon to be sky gazers are on the move across North America for a rare celestial event, a total solar eclipse. Take a look. This is the 115 mile wide path of totality where the moon will obscure the sun's light. As you can see, hundreds of cities and smaller towns in 15 states from Texas to Maine lie right along that path. It's home to an estimated 31 million Americans. Big crowds and a lot of traffic are expected. CBS's Janet Shamland will be among the many looking up. She's in Kerrville, Texas, with the perfect spot tonight for us. Janet. Jerika, good evening to you. They're bracing for the impact of crowds. The city of Kerrville now asking people to be in place more than three hours before the eclipse starts. And ahead of those few minutes of darkness during totality tomorrow, today what we're seeing, high prices and heavy traffic. Eclipse glasses. The last minute rush to witness history. That's why we're here. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. we're here from New York. Oh, thank you. At the San Antonio airport, packed planes and high hopes. I'm very worried about the weather. I'm trying to make it do my no cloud dance. No cloud dance. Accommodations along the path of the eclipse are either sky high or already gone. Look at this map of sold out Airbnb properties in red following the path of totality. Seeing an eclipse is often a once in a lifetime event. Not for you. That's correct. Not for me. I've seen 20 all over the planet seven continents and six oceans. This is like the last eclipse. Letitia Ferrar will watch her 21st alongside millions of others in Texas. Small businesses like the Rhinery, a winery in Fredericksburg, Texas, hoping to cash in. You're going to have uh, specialty wines produced just for the eclipse, uh, specialty glassware. Another lure, a real rhino. An astronomical event like the eclipse comes with out of this world logistical challenges. For example, this road in Kerrville, Texas will be all one way, just like they do during hurricane evacuations. This is where NASA will be in. And Mayor Judy Eichner is expecting 100,000 or more in her city of about 25,000. So you're changing the traffic flow yes, of the city? Absolutely. The countdown is on. NASA will broadcast from Kerrville, and Billy Jeans expects to serve 1,700 people. I got a chicken fried chicken, gravy all over. Triple a normal day. As for predictions of clouds, the Weather Channel's so Stephanie Abrams says, don't give up hope. Should. I saw an eclipse in 99. It was cloudy. I'm telling you, dark clouds. And for totality, the clouds parted. We saw totality, and then the clouds closed up again. So I'm saying there's a chance. So we will keep hope alive. Signs along the interstate here advise people to arrive early, stay put during the clips, and then afterwards leave late. And the Texas Department of Transportation offered some guidance to drivers you think they would already know, but they said do not wear these eclipse glasses while driving. That's right. Jerica. Gotta be able to see the road. Janet, thank you.